Many people dream of buying a plot of land to retire to and tending their own little bit of paradise. Today, we meet a former business owner who did just that. After retiring, Jiang Qingzong bought some land in rural Xinzhu to begin a tea plantation. His oriental beauty has won many awards. He also grows organic veggies that can be eaten straight from the field. Jiang Qingzhong steps through the tea field, pulling up weeds and picking flowers. A few steps away, it's the vegetable garden, with more than 20 types of vegetables growing. He picks a stalk of celery and starts eating it straight from the ground. He doesn't use any pesticides or herbicides here, so he does need to pick insects off by hand. The 40-hectare farm is all tended by hand by the owner. Our tea plantation here has been certified organic, so we can't spray pesticides. If there are insects, we pick them off. Jiang stoops to remove pests from the crops. You might never guess that he used to own a massage clinic in Taipei. After retirement, he moved here to the mountains of Beipu and spent hundreds of millions in savings on this plot of land. Here, at this very own farm, he grows oriental beauty oolong tea. My days used to be so jam-packed with things to do. After we got our plot in Beipu, the pace of life slowed down and we've gotten healthier in terms of mind, body and spirit. Over the last few years, friends have often seen me and said, Wow, Jiang, how come you never age? Jiang has learned a lot from growing tea. His oriental beauty won the top prize in the Xinzhu County Tea Contest, as well as a three-star award at a competition in Belgium. I was a consultant for the Council of Agriculture about 20 years ago. I think Taiwanese tea is the jewel of this land. There are so many competitions, one after the other, and Taiwanese oriental beauty Oolong won the ITQI contest in Belgium, taking home its highest award. Who would imagine the boss of a major metropolitan massage clinic would pack in the city life to go and found an organic farm? Jiang says the countryside has let him slow down and start a new, gentler chapter of his life.